I'd like to welcome uh, George Porter of Empires at Dance into the studio. Uh, George, tell us a little bit about Empires at Dance. Hi Ronnie, thanks. Uh, Empires at Dance, we are um, based in Glasgow and one of our uh, band members, Andy Innes, is based down in Devon and Cornwall. So we kind of run the operation uh, by via, via the internet and uh, share ideas and bring them together. Um, but we cover Simple Minds songs, we, we're big, big Simple Minds fans. Um, I'm actually, a, as you know, of a Simple Minds tribute band yes. called Simple Minded. And uh, this gives a, an opportunity to um, not play the songs live, but uh, work with them in the studio and add in our own interpretations of uh, how the songs are, 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 are going to be recorded. So uh, I, it's, it's, uh, it's very interesting, it's a lot of hard work. But it's uh, a real labour of love, I think, it's a lot from. Now, you've already released amazing covers of two iconic Simple Minds tracks. You covered Room and called it Another Room, and then you covered Changeling. And you really brought Changeling up to date for the 21st century. Now, for your next single, you've recorded a version of Boys from Brazil. Now, I'm going to say here, George, it's not the most obvious track. What made Empires at Dance choose that track? <laughs> it's definitely not uh, the, uh, an obvious track and for me, um, I worked with Brian McGee who, who was originally in Simple Minds and um, when I was with their band called Deck Simple Minds now, um, but when I spoke to Brian and I met him for the first time, apart from being starstruck, um, I, I mentioned this song Boys from Brazil because you know Simple Minds have been a prolific band in terms of their songwriting and um, I think that they've done six albums in the first six years and the, the Boys from Brazil was from the Sons and Fascination period, a golden period for Simple Minds um, and I just loved the drums on it and I loved the lyric and the whole kind of feel of it and uh, uh, that's really why we've done it. I went to Gordy and spoke to Andy about it and they were both a bit like you saying you must be kidding me on, you must be kidding yeah. me on, I mean that's um, really not that obvious but uh, we, we sat down to do a demo of it and it sounded really, really, really good. So we, we sampled the original drums and built a track around about that. Now we used the elements of like Giorgio Moroder, the things that we loved, um, Public Image with John Lydon, all those sort of things. And whilst we were recording, and the recording was done fairly, fairly quick, you're on it, I have to say. Um, particularly the vocals, we done the vocals in two hours and then went back and added things in later on but um, it, the whole track came together really, really quickly. And then we had to figure out a way of kind of making it work. Uh, and we didn't want to be to replicate what they'd done in Boys From Brazil. So um, it, was, it was quite a task, but it was, uh, it, was, it was beautiful doing it. It really was hearing it all come together and, and to get some feedback for yourself and from other people. Um, it's, been, it's been really, really encouraging. So we're, we're looking forward to uh, coming out and um, to see what the reaction to that's going to be. It's a very radical cover because I particularly love the Georgia Marauder vibe that goes through because you actually you actually find you nodding your head and you again you've brought what I would say is an iconic Simple Minds track and brought it up to date. Yeah, it's, thanks. it's almost a disco remix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no there was a great there was a great I mean coming from the the, the era where we were all brought up yourself and, and myself and the boys in the band. Um, George and Marotta was everywhere, you know, he really was. And I see even Daft Punk have um, tipped her hat to him and quite rightly so. Yeah. Um, so we we, want, we wanted to, to include George and Marotta somewhere in to, to Boys from Brazil. The boys from Brazil. We didn't actually know how that was going to work. Um, but that was part part of what we wanted to do and um, and we're really pleased with the results, to be honest. So. Now, with a great version of Boys from Brazil, the band have put together what I can only describe as a quirky video. Tell me how the video all came about, Josh. Believe it or not, the video um, it started whilst we were recording um, in, uh, in Glasgow with Gordy Gaudi, and um, both of us were talking. Um, there's, uh, I think I've uh, alluded before, there's always food involved when we're making music. We always make some food and talk about what we're going to do and then we go and record. And during that, 
um, what, I think it was the second recording session when we were talking about the George and Marauder thing, and we were saying what we should do is we should get you know these moustaches, big moustaches on and glasses, and and just have a laugh making the video. So. Nobody knew, apart from Gordy and I, that we were going to be wearing the moustaches and the glasses. And when the other guys turned up, when Andy and uh, Brian McGee uh, turned up to, to make the video and Michael Baggers Lee, we gave them uh, their moustaches and glasses and everybody was just absolutely pissing themselves laughing. <laughs> Even the camera crew, everybody just thought it was great. And, and it kind of set the tone for the day. And the, di the, the difference between this video and the previous one we done with Changeling was we, we filmed Changeling um, on locations uh, around Glasgow. But this one, uh, um, we, we were able to use uh, the sports media studio in uh, Livingston. Yeah. And um, courtesy of uh, Paul and Yellow, who's a very good friend of mine. And uh, we were very fortunate to, to have that facility. So we decided to write a script round about the band playing and, and we featured this car, this old Jaguar that was there. And, and uh, what a laugh, honestly, what a laugh we had making that. Fortunate enough as well, we managed to get Brian McGee, who, who I alluded to earlier on, it was his original drum track that really inspired the whole, the whole sort of boys from Brazil, Empires and Dance thing. And uh, I put this to Brian and asked him if he would come and not only uh, star in the video, but to put on a silly moustache and, and uh, sunglasses, which he agreed to do. Oh, he'd be well off of that. Oh, he was, and, and you could see, you can see it in the video, what a laugh we had. In fact, I spoke to him this morning on the way down, and uh, he's uh, he's very, very excited about it as well. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, um, it's exciting times, it's exciting times. I'm very fortunate, George, that I've actually seen the video. And I've got to say, you, everyone is in for a treat when they see this video. It's all the guys having a bit of fun in the studio yeah. and wait till you see the moustache <laughs> and the glasses. Yeah, I know. But it looked a fun video to make. Yeah, it was. It was, uh, it was really good and a great facility that we had to, to, to uh, operate and film it in. I have to say that. Um, it, was, it was a brilliant day. Eight hours filming all day, dancing about, um, just acting like a child, really. It was great. But when people are watching the video, George, I've got to watch it right to the end because the, I, I find the facial expressions in the car are just are just great. <laughs> are just great. No, just no. like looking at each other going, huh? <laughs> well, we, we've got um, um, Baggers is his name. Yeah. Um, he's, uh, his name online and he's a, a big, big Simple Minds fan. He's also going to be doing a remix for us, so we decided to, to invite him along for the filming. And uh, we're going to have John Proven, who's based in Belgium, he's going to do a remix for us as well. Good. He unfortunately couldn't come because his wife was having a baby. Um, so, but uh, it, it was, it was <laughs> I'm just giggling about it just now, you know, I'm just, uh, we just didn't want to take ourselves too seriously. The music was very serious, we wanted that to be bang on, and we wanted the video to, hopefully um, emanate fun and laughter. Now I'm hoping that when the remixes are done, we need a full disco remix. <laughs> it's got to be done. A full disco remix. A full you fancy doing it, Ronnie? <laughs> Why don't you do it? We'll get you to do the Ronnie McGee full disco remix of Boys from Brazil. I might take you up on that. Okay, we'll get you your own moustache and glasses as well. Fantastic. Charles Porter from Empires of Dance, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Ronnie.